Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie, a retired art professor from the University of Washington in Seattle. When I began my job at the University of Washington, I was required to spend one quarter with the School of Business. There I studied microeconomics. I carried that experience over to my art studio classes in printmaking because printmaking is a kind of industrial process that has a lot to do with the economy and the history of technology. Later I was required to take up a study in the creative economy. The creative economy starts with the supposition that all the artworks that descended from one individual did have a strong economic impact on the community in which they were located and sometimes globally. To give you an example of that, I designed an etching press that's based on the same presses Rembrandt used. So in the creative economy, Rembrandt was a key element in his community in Amsterdam in the 1600s. Today, our students all learn about Rembrandt and some students specialize in using the same processes Rembrandt did that is etching. What I designed in the spirit of the economy, of the creative economy, is a miniature etching press called the Wee Woody Rembrandt Press. The design won an international award in Italy in the year 2012 and today I'm sending out the 30th uh, model of the Wee Woody Rembrandt Press. The retail price today is $125. This is only the 30th model of the Wee Woody Rembrandt Press that I have made. By my figures and estimates, choosing the market plan for museum shops, for example, and also museums that have to do with technology or any field that relates to the arts and printing and technology, there are roughly 35,000 museums in the United States. The application of the creative economy in this instance is to design a market plan and establish what the market size really is and then address that market with 5,000 kits for making the Wee Woody Rembrandt Press with a test that shows how the kit can go together with kids ages 8 to 20 years old and decide at what point this uh, model would be a feasible uh, project. After that the, the Wee Woody Rembrandt presses would be produced in mass and produced for museums worldwide. Well, that's my uh, course of going from when I was first hired at the University of Washington, spending time studying microeconomics and then the creative economy to where today we actually have a viable product to test the uh, possibility of developing a business in uptown in the spirit of the creative economy. Thanks for watching. I'm Bill Ritchie.